<laughs> so, um, uh, right, so the audition. So in, um, in acting, you have to, you find out about a project and then you get sent like the script, right? You study the script and they show up in an office, in like a cubicle. And they're like, all right, here's the camera and then like do the scene. So usually it's like you do that three times and then you find out. Power Rangers was one of the most strenuous audition processes of my entire life. Really? Yeah, yeah, it was like, it was five appointments. Each time they were like, okay, can you do the same thing as last time, but add one more? So by the end of it, you had five scenes. And then of course, by the third time, they're like, can you bring a physical routine as well? And then the last time they kept you there from sunrise to sunset, two days. And then they just had like a group of us, like the last ones. And so there were like, almost rangers, you know, like the ones that were in the last round that didn't make it. Some of them are actually incredible actors too, like um, Madeline Pesch from Riverdale. She was really? in the last round for Pink um, against Camille. Uh, so that was kind of, kind of nuts. Her life would have been very different had she oh, yeah. that show. Um, but yeah, so then we did like, then we had like running tests, which was I think the most amusing. It's like uh, the camera was on and then you just had to like run. Literally. It sounds like a PT test, like you gotta go through a PT test. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah like, physical, oh, like, yeah, like yeah, that's so brutal. Yeah, um, and then like chemistry, so then they had like you and all the other ones and they kept mixing it up. So it was intense and long, but I mean, if, if you're like, if you know, if you're prepared for anything that is like really difficult, you can usually, you know, persevere through that. Right, like every most superhero shows is the superhero has a normal life, uh, works at the newspaper place or the um, yogurt shop or whatever, right? And then you know stuff hits the fan, and then they like put on their mask and they do their job. So the show is like ten minutes. If it's like a twenty-five minute show, ten minutes of teen drama, and then the ten minutes of like action or fifteen minutes of action. So half of that will be like a civilian fight where it's our face, and so clearly. Um, we have to, we learn it really fast too. So we had a little bit of training, but then day of, they're like, all right, so we're here, we have a whole group of um, amazing martial artists that like flew in from Japan and they study every day. After doing 12 hours of shooting, they go and like practice, like flipping and all this crazy stuff. So they, they bring us over and they're like, all right, so this is the action scene. He's running here, this happens, this blows up. And so here's your fight scene. And then they show it to us in like a couple of minutes and then ask us to like replicate it. So usually it's like, if you don't have martial arts background, a lot of us do, I did martial arts since I was eight. Um, Yoshi, who plays Blue Ranger, is like a stunt god. Uh, you know, he like throws himself off like windows and, and so he's like really fast. Yeah, Brennan is like circus. And so a lot of us had martial art, like backgrounds where we could do that. Others, uh, I won't name them, but they didn't really have martial arts backgrounds. So. In other words, we would all do our fight sequence and then they would have <coughs> the stunties come in and do it as well. So, and then they would mix it up at the end of the day. Like, depending on how much you do, then they would put that and then they would have the stunties. What was your martial arts background? I did uh, Shotokan Karate. Oh. So, yeah. so if I decided to spar you one day, we can go do shooto boxing really quick. Ooh, what's shooto boxing? So it's, it's like shadow boxing? basically, but it's a three point system. Oh, I did uh, like Goju, yeah, I did Gojuru. Oh, Gojuru. I did Gojuru, Tai Chi, I did Japanese Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, don't mess with my guys. Um, <laughs> That's okay, I got a gun, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> we got sticks. Karate <laughs> <laughs> means empty hand. Yeah, that's the whole point. And then Red. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of the only shows that's like kind of dark and it has been since the beginning. And it's not? Like, on, okay, great. Yeah, I mean like, X-Men don't really count because they're like mutants. But, I guess they do count. All right, <laughs> Batman because, like, he's, he's in super intelligent technology, like the, the magic is so mysterious. He has like, so much damage. And he's like, he's such a brooding guy. Oh, I got but he's like so cool, you know? Um, and like Gotham City is like New York, you know? So it kind of looks like home. It looks like it could happen. It could happen. <laughs> <laughs> so do, do you keep up with the comics by any chance? Uh, I used to a lot more. Um, and then I realized, 
comic books, I realized quickly, like TV, if, if you if you really fall in love with a comic or like a show, you end up being like seven seasons in or like buying it all the time. So I like nipped it and I was like, nope, only movies. I'll watch it for two hours, it's over, I'm good. So I do have a stash of comic books I collected when I was like a kid. And then, um, and then I'm like now trying to like read more books and stuff. But I still love comics, like The Watchmen I pulled out the other day and, and V for Vendetta. Yeah, Alan Moore, I love a lot, graphic novelist. Just saying, Batman's kind of considered a mutant. Ugh. Is he? Is he really? Not really. No, 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 no. So, he worked for it. So, okay, so this this is going to go off topic. Um, So, does everybody know about Damien, his, his yeah. son? son. Yeah. Yeah, like, I love how everybody quotes with me. Yeah. Son. son. So, they brought him back. If you've been following DC line, he's a mutant now. They're actually showing, they're not even using the word mutant because, you know, Marvel and everything when you really break down the philosophy of batman there's even a book about it like the amount of intelligence he has is way beyond what it should be so they're looking at that as a special mutant ability by the philosophy of it because then you look at tony stark who is basically batman you know rich and everything like that well there's a science behind him that he uses his suit so much to the point where if you flick him he'll start crying and explode so yeah you just gotta that's why I was asking about comics, like how far do you dwell in like, yeah, like Superman science. The moment he goes like this, everything around him should explode because of the molecular oh, like construct. Goes really fast. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, he's holding back, just like Flash holds back like light years in order to have a conversation. Yes. So. It happened. <laughs> so do, do you keep up with the comics by any chance? Uh, I used to a lot more, um, and then I realized Comic books, I realized quickly, like TV, if, if you if you really fall in love with a comic or like a show, you end up being like seven seasons in or like buying it all the time. So I like nipped it and I was like, nope, only movies. I'll watch it for two hours, it's over, I'm good. So I do have a stash of comic books I collected when I was like a kid. And then, um, and then I'm like now trying to like read more books and stuff. But I still love comics, like The Watchmen I pulled out the other day and, and V for Vendetta. Yeah, Alan Moore, I love a lot, graphic novelist. Just saying, Batman's kind of considered a mutant. Ugh. Is he? Is he really? Not no, really. No, no, no. So, he worked for it. So, okay, so this this is going to go off topic. Um, So, does everybody know about Damien, his, his yeah. son? son. Yeah. Yeah, like, I love how everybody quotes with me. Yeah. Son. son. So, they brought him back. If you've been following DC line, he's a mutant now. They're actually showing, they're not even using the word mutant because, you know, Marvel and everything when you really break down the philosophy of batman there's even a book about it like the amount of intelligence he has is way beyond what it should be so they're looking at that as a special mutant ability by the philosophy of it because then you look at tony stark who is basically batman you know rich and everything like that well there's a science behind him that he uses his suit so much to the point where if you flick him he'll start crying and explode so yeah you just gotta that's why I was asking about comics, like how far do you dwell in like, yeah, like Superman science. The moment he goes like this, everything around him should explode because of the molecular oh, like construct. Goes really fast. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, he's holding back, just like Flash holds back like light years in order to have a conversation. Yes. So, right. That's a question. Justin, yeah.